Professor Mark Higdon. Uh, this is a continuation of the FM341 Photoshop videos. This is video number three, and uh, this will cover how to develop a pitch sheet uh, after you've created the two uh, colorways in Photoshop and how you can fill it into your garment, uh, the two designs that you've created. So, um, if you remember in Photoshop, we created the two colorways of our little floral design. Save those to your desktop. Then um, on Blackboard, there is a folder, Workshop 9, Adobe Photoshop. Um, in there, I have uh, the two videos, but I also have a sample pitch sheet and a template pitch sheet, which you should download to take a look at. Okay. So the sample pitch sheet pitch sheet is the uh, technical information that would go to a factory uh, in terms of your print and the colorway. Um, and on the top, you would have the instructions to the mill in terms of the the brand, the season. Um, you usually assign a design number to it. What garment this would be used for. Um, also, you would include the repeat size. Um, I would stay with 4x4 four four if you created um, a design that was 5 inches by 5 inches. That would pretty much cover it. Um, and um, for us, we did an all-over design. Uh, the printing method I have is two choices, roller print or discharge print. Uh, roller print is essentially on a white ground. Uh, discharge print, if you remember from FM244, you're printing on a dyed piece of fabric. And I have the, uh, the type of fabric that the garment would, the fabric would be printed on. And so I have my two colorways that I created. And I have the little color swatches below. And I drew arrows for the first um, design just so that they could understand in terms of the specifics as to where those colors would go. And on the pitch sheet, you would most likely have a little picture of the garment so that they could see the size scale as to how this is actually going to uh, print. Okay. So working with the uh, template that I've given you, um, you would fill in the information at the top um, in terms of your brand, um, the season you're developing for, um, also the type of garment that you're going to be uh, printing the fabric on. Think about the size of the repeat and select whether it's a roller print or discharge print and the type of fabric that you're going to print on. Okay. To bring your um, colors that you just created in Photoshop, the two colorations, uh, I always suggest do a file place. And you can bring in those two colorations that you just created. And you can resize them to fit into the template box that I've given you. Here's my other one that I'm bringing in. Okay. Um, the arrows, uh, you can select these and do an object arrange and bring them to the front. And then in terms of for the actual colors, the first one is typically the ground. To select that color, if you select the box, make sure your fill is to the front. Go to the eyedropper tool or the I key on your keypad, and you can fill the swatches very quickly into each of the boxes. So for my flower, 
I can pick up the color, select each of the squares, and then use the eyedropper to pick up the colors. And then you can adjust the arrows with the selection tool to where they need to go. I usually only use the arrows on one colorway. I don't do it on both, um, just uh, for an ex additional explanation for the factory. Okay, so do that also for the second one. Okay, so now I've filled those swatches into the colors. Um, to fill the garment uh, with my pattern, make a copy of, of your design. Open up swatches. So the easiest way would be to drag the swatches directly into your swatch palette. Because we placed it, we actually have to do a um, object rasterize in order for it to go into the swatches. We can change it to uh, leave it as CMYK, click OK. Change the size scale. And then you can drag it right into your swatches and fill the garment with your pattern. Okay, Depending on how small the original design is before you drag it in will affect in terms of how it fills into your garment. Okay, Again, make a copy of the colorway. Make it smaller get rid of the blue X so that you can drag it in. Go to Object, Rasterize, click OK, and then you can drag it directly into the file. OK? And then fill your garment with the pattern. So save this and you will then um, include this as part of your final project. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, thank you very much.